ओके बायोट से वटला और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू करेंट करिंग वायर सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ फार्मूला फॉर द मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन और मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी ड्यू टू ए वायर इन विच करेंट इज फ्लोइंग एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दैट वेन एवर ए करेंट इज फ्लोइंग इन ए कंडक्टर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड प्रोड्यूस वट विल बी द मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटेंसिटी फॉर दैट करेंट दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस टॉपिक सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस कंसिडर ए वायर Let us consider a wire as in figure like uh, this, and uh, current is flowing in this direction, I, and uh, we have to calculate magnetic field intensity at this point P. So we take uh, a small element that is d L. and uh, for this element we calculate magnetic field intensity at this point and after that we can uh, we integrate this then this is for the whole wire so now let this is the current theta sorry angle theta between dl and r so this is basically a empirical formula uh, that is uh, Uh, whatever the magnetic field is here that depends on the current if we increase the magnitude of current magnetic field also increase okay so first that uh, db db is because of the uh, magnetic field due to this small element wire is proportional to i okay we write here i second observation that this magnetic field is proportional to dl what is the amount of dl if we increase the length of wire magnetic field also increases so db is directly proportional to this one thing is more similar that uh, in uh, electric field that if we increase the r magnetic field or electric field decreases and uh, we write here the magnetic field is inversely proportional to r square and one more quantity affect this because Here is the angle theta, so this dv is also proportional to sine theta. Why this is sine theta? Because it's a vector quantity and it is perpendicular to d l and r. And if we write p here, this theta is zero. There is no magnetic field. Yes. So if r and d l is at the zero degree, magnetic field is zero, and uh, at maximum this is at 90 degree and we know in sin theta the minimum value is 0 and maximum is 90 so we write here 90 uh, sin theta basically so this is more uh, for observation it is magnetic field is proportional to current flowing in the uh, wire magnetic field is proportional to small element and uh, inversely proportional to square of the uh, distance Uh, between the uh, point and the element length and also proportional to sin theta so if we combine this four result we can get db is proportional to i d l sin theta upon r square so we write here on combining So, for the proportionality constant, we write here mu naught by four pi i d l sine theta upon r square. This is in Tesla. Here mu naught is called permeability. Permeability and mu naught by 4 pi is equal to 10 to the power minus 7 unit what is the unit of mu naught we can easily make that uh, this is tesla meter square per ampere meter so this is tesla meter square per 
ampere meter. Tesla meter is square per ampere meter is a unit of permeability. So now uh, total magnetic field as given by B is equal to integration dB. So this formula we have to remember that this is for element length and we have to calculate for the whole length we have to simply integrate what over the unit uh, limits of this is infinity to minus infinity and whatever so now <coughs> uh, uh, by what law may be written in the vector form so in vector form we can write db and magnetic field index uh, magnetic index is the vector quantity is equal to i t l cross r upon and this is the cross product so this is basically d l r sin theta so this is r q because we take a full vector so we multiply by r so this is the in, in vector form so uh, from this result we can easily say that uh, <coughs> Direction of dB, direction of dB is the direction of dL into R. So now direction of dB is same as dL cross R. And we know how to determine the direction that is basically vector product and there are screw rule right and palm rule and the, uh, uh, we can calculate the uh, determine the direction by our finger by stretching at 90 degree there are many methods so <coughs> dl cross r so dl cross r is uh, determined by screw rule right hand palm rule right hand palm rule means this is the right hand and this is dl basically dl and uh, this is dl and we have to curl in the direction of r and this direction is the direction of magnetic field so this is dl r so here the direction of magnetic field is inward here if we calculate here magnetic field is the theta then this is dl and r this is outward so here magnetic field is outward so we make a notation that if this is inward we write here cross and if this is outward we write here dot and uh, something which is moving outward then this tips is the notation for the outward direction and this is for the downward direction sorry inward direction so we write here for inward direction inward paper a board we write this and for outward outward paper we write this okay so now the direction of db is uh, perpendicular to dl and r so db is perpendicular to both dl and r so, okay now there are some special cases We write here again db is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin theta upon r square now this is the element length this is dl and we have to calculate magnetic induction at point p so this is dl and this is r 
then what will be the theta? This is 0, dl is this and r is this. So, if we write here 0, then dB is equal to 0. Then if theta is equal to 0, that means the direction of dl and r is same, then theta is 0 and sin theta is 0. After the putting the value, uh, putting the value we can get dB is equal to 0. Now, if the first and this is second, theta is 90, suppose here, then magnetic field is sin 90 is 1 basically. So, dB is equal to mu naught by 4 pi i dl upon r square, you know, sin theta is 1. So, there are two cases and uh, that is all about the direction of magnetic induction.